How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I want to quickly go over these three VPNs, which I think are the best VPNs for uh, online banking. So we've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. And if you're interested in any of those, you'll find links in the description down below, including some discount codes if you're interested. Now, you know, if you're on public Wi-Fi and you're accessing your uh, bank account without a VPN, you're making some. You're making the biggest mistake because that can easily be stolen by who, uh, anyone else that is on the network with a little bit of a know-how, or it could just be the administrator of that public Wi-Fi that steals your um, information. So that is very dangerous. I would definitely not recommend doing that. So if you're looking for some of the best VPNs for uh, online banking in terms of security, I would start with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is certainly the safest, provably the safest uh, VPN. Okay, now before I move on to just explaining all the features here, just know that you'll find in-depth reviews in the description down below. So whatever entry, whatever kind of piques your interest, uh, or intrigue, let's say, you will find full reviews, full in-depth reviews in the description down below. So uh, make sure to kind of uh, also check that out if you before you purchase it so that you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. But if you're just looking for, my, for a quick recommendation and you don't care about the price, I would say ExpressVPN absolutely is provably and evidently the best and most secure VPN for the most part in terms of security and encryption. Um, they have some of the most sophisticated kind of uh, security systems going on with their with their servers and everything. Uh, I would definitely uh, recommend them. They have over 3000 servers. Their speeds are excellent, consistent, very consistent, not as fast as uh, NordVPN's WireGuard protocol here, but uh, ExpressVPN are very consistent no matter which server you connect to. Uh, they have a kill switch right here, so that's very important. They have a very easy to use split tunneling feature, nothing uh, too complicated about that. They have a bunch of protocols here. Uh, for the most part, you're going to be wanting to use lightweight UDP because it's just the kind of a most efficient one. And you're going to keep your settings as they are right here, uh, the default settings for the most part. So, um, yeah, and it's it really is as as easy as just turning it on. Uh, there's nothing complicated about it. Uh, you can go to VPN locations. You have uh, over, again, over 3000 servers in 94 countries. Uh, all of these VPNs have a 24-7 live chat support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to kind of change your uh, uh, change your mind or anything like that, you want to try another, you want to try Surfshark, for example, you can even ask for the refund on the 29th or 30th day and they'll just return all your money within like two to four business days. So yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, so Nord, uh, Express VPN, excuse me, will support up to five simultaneous devices. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out the uh, review below if you're interested in Express VPN. Now, the next, next most secure VPN from all of these would be Nord VPN. Now, Nord VPN has quite a few extra features here. You know, you've got specialty servers, including Onion over VPN, peer to peer. Um, if you switch to OpenVPN, you'll unlock two more specialty servers, which is dedicated in DoubleVPN. DoubleVPN is uh, going to offer you pretty much double the security. It will route your connection through two servers rather than one, as you can tell here. Uh, oh, it's not showing you, but if I click one of these and I just, uh, oh, yeah, there it is. So United States, Canada. This is the United States, Canada one. If I clicked it on the Taiwan one, this is Taiwan and Hong Kong. Uh, France, this is uh, a France and UK server. So it's going to route your connection through two servers, making it, well, twice as hard to decrypt your uh, data or traffic. You've got over 5,400 servers in 59 countries. Uh, great, great uh, variety here. But for the most part, you're going to get, so again, three, just three protocols. You're going to want to use Nord Links for the most part. Um, kill switch. A kill switch is very important. Also, you have, you have auto connect, which will uh, auto connect to. It will auto connect you to the VPN whenever you're, um, whenever you kind of connect to a public Wi-Fi or an unsecured network. So that's pretty useful. Uh, kill switch 
disable the uh, you have a, the the internet kill switch just like the uh, Express VPN one, except you have an app kill switch here, which will uh, kill your connection whenever uh, you disconnect from certain apps. Uh, uh, excuse me, it will disconnect your application. It will kill the application whenever you disconnect from the VPN itself. And you have split tunneling, which again, it's as easy to use as it is in ExpressVPN. You'll be able to enable the VPN for select, selected apps or disable it, whatever you're trying to do. And you have a handy custom DNS feature, which will let you kind of uh, you know, set whatever DNS you want to set real quick without having to kind of mess with your Windows or Mac settings, which is pretty useful. Obfuscated servers, which you really won't need unless uh, some of these server. Uh, if you're living in a censorship heavy country, you might want to use these. But for the most part, for the most part, you really won't need to use uh, obfuscated servers. You'll be able to just use their regular servers, uh, which are good enough and encrypted enough. So. Um, NordVPN will let you uh, secure up to six devices if that's something you need. Now, Surfshark, um, now the key for ExpressVPN, they do use 256-bit encryption for Express and NordVPN. Uh, the thing with Surfshark is that the key, the, key, the DH key that you use is a 2048 key, whereas with Express and NordVPN, it's a 4096 key. In simple terms, ExpressVPN and NordVPN are covered by a an encrypted key that is twice as secure as the ones they use for uh, Surfshark. Now, that doesn't mean that Surfshark is not secure. It is absolutely secure. And in fact, for the most part, a 2048 key is enough to uh, encrypt your data and traffic. And it, it really has never been kind of decrypted. So you don't really have to worry about that. But if you're looking for the ultimate security, I'm just telling you, uh, that little bit of detail just so that you know. Now, for Surfshark, the cool thing about Surfshark is that you still get all of these features for a very affordable price, especially if you're especially if you're going for the two-year plan. You still have multi-hop, which is double VPN, same thing as double VPN, static IP for the same IP if you want to go back to the same IP address. You have over 3,200 servers in 65 countries this time around. You have a couple of features here, which is the whitelister, uh, which is a split tunneling feature as well. It's just called whitelister here. Uh, clean web, which is an ad blocker. You all, you do have an ad blocker in uh, NordVPN as well called CyberSec. Uh, you also have, uh, what do we have here? Okay, dark mode. Connectivity, you're going to get your kill switch right here under connectivity. And if you go to advanced, you'll get a whole bunch of protocols here. For the most part, you're going to be wanting to use WireGuard because it really is the best. Uh, no borders mode if uh, you're trying to bypass a uh, censorship heavy country firewall such as the Great Firewall of China. If you're having trouble, just turn on no borders mode and you should be able to bypass it. And that would be it really. That's the main difference between these three VPNs. Uh, they're all quite a bit secure. Again, they all have live chat supports and 30 day money back guarantees. Uh, plenty of servers to mess around with. Um, they all reliably unblock streaming services. Um, in terms of number, uh, Express uh, unblocks up to 18 Netflix libraries, Surfshark 15, and uh, NordVPN up to 10. Uh, they all have, uh, you know, very, very decent reliability. Uh, I would say in terms of reliability, I would rank Express, Nord, and then Surfshark, or maybe Express, Surfshark, and Nord. I would say Surfshark and Nord are on the same level in terms of reliability, but definitely not as reliable as ExpressVPN. I use ExpressVPN for anything that is uh, kind of, uh, you know, any, any VPN need I have, Express covers it. And it's, uh, for me, I don't like to spend much time adjusting my VPN, so it really just does the job. When it comes to ExpressVPN, I can just click it and I'm good to go, uh, especially for streaming services, if I want to watch Netflix or anything like that. But again, in terms of pricing, it might be a little too expensive for some people. So you're going to have uh, more affordable pricing with NordVPN, especially for the one and two year plan. And with Surfshark for the two year plan, you're not going to find anything that's cheaper than Surfshark, especially for the kind of service that you're getting here. Very reliable, very quick for its price. <clears throat> so these are my suggestions for the best three VPNs for online banking. Again, do not ever log in to your bank account on a public Wi-Fi uh, without having a VPN. You will regret it <laughs> and to, for the rest of your life if you ever do that. And if you get your information leaked, trust me, it is not worth it. 
um, you know, it, you definitely don't want to do that. It, even if you have to use a free VPN, which for the most part, if you use a free VPN, they'll collect your data, you'll get some adware for the most part. And yeah, you'll, you'll, it's still a better deal than getting your information leaked. So if you're looking though for a uh, good VPN, free VPNs obviously won't unblock Netflix and give you all these features or peer-to-peer -peer, uh, capabilities. So yeah, these are my three VPNs. Again, I would recommend checking out the description below for in-depth reviews for whatever VPN that uh, kind of piques your interest here. And um, as far as discounts and pricing, you'll also find links in the description down below. So that'll be it for me, guys. And I hope you learned something. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.